Welcome to Pine Woods, where we're rethinking second language acquisition, where we're actually rethinking natural language acquisition. This tutorial was made possible by the following. And at the end of this overview, you should be able to present a 55 minute lesson plan with relative ease. That's it. That's all we want you to take away. You'll find that a lot of this is going to come down to storytelling. But let's break that down. Don't assume that you're just telling stories because there's a clear difference between telling and teaching. With this method, it's really more about story asking versus just storytelling. So you need to understand the method we use. The storytelling method that we use is called TPRS. Google it if you would please. TPRS makes language acquisition appear easy and natural. And that's one reason why we use it. We know it works. Note to self, language acquisition isn't the same as language learning. The goal is not to learn about the language, but to actually use it naturally. Which means you need to follow a method to help you achieve that goal. Obviously, you need to introduce some vocabulary because it all comes down to the words. But you need to practice those vocabulary items in context for them to stick. Which means you need to use some questions to practice the vocabulary. And once you know that your students easily recognize the words, then you can introduce a story which gives context to the words. And like with the words, you need to use this questioning method to practice the story for the words to stick, again, in context. Which means you need to go slowly. You need to be looking for student participation as well as student confusion. And don't be afraid to start over if you see that you're only getting a few responses. You also need to use this questioning technique to introduce various versions of the same mini story. It'll actually give it another context. And that'll actually help you practice the vocabulary as well. The point is for the students to hear you say the vocabulary about 70 times for maximum retention. Their communication skills will improve only if they know what the word is supposed to sound like and what it quote unquote sounds like to them comes from hearing you. Now, you can use the reading to help cement you know, their learning. For example, write the story on the board and have the students translate it into their own language, which in this case is going to be Spanish. You know, this will actually demonstrate their comprehension. They can then read it back to you in English and have them take turns. Or, you know, if some people are too nervous, go on to the next person. Hopefully you're going to build, you know, some confidence as you're moving forward. And then at that point, you're going to be moving on to the exercises. And this, you know, will tell whether or not you practice the words enough, you know, for them to remember them. Now these activities will actually check for reading comprehension as well as develop their English writing skills as well. Some example exercises that we've provided include role play. You know, have the students use the day's vocabulary to tell about themselves. Or they can use the role play included just to practice speaking in general. Now some other exercises include the following. Exercise number one, which is having them tell you the story that they see in some pictures that you'll provide them. Exercise number two is having them fill in the blanks using the vocabulary that they've learned. Exercise number three is having them focus on listening comprehension as it relates to the vocabulary. Exercise number four is having them tell you if a statement is either true or false, and if the statement is false, to actually make it true using the vocabulary that they've learned. Exercise number five is having them write the appropriate word, which is going to be a little harder for most people, but just stick with them. Exercise number six is having them answer some short answer questions explaining why or why not, again using the vocabulary that they've learned. And exercise number seven, the final exercise, is having them write their own story as it relates to the story that they've just learned. That's it. That's all we want you to do. And that concludes part one. Thanks for your time.